Hi everyone, this is Keely, and we're going to do a little experiment today. We're actually going to figure out how hard I hit this piece of wood. And the way we're going to do that is with a very simple experiment. You are going to time how long it takes my hand to go from here to here. And it would be best if you timed it several different times, maybe two or three. We're going to take these times and average them together and use that average in this equation right here. For my hand to go from here to here, that's roughly one meter. That's why I've got a one there. And you're going to put the average time in here to figure out the average velocity of my hand. Now we're going to cheat a little bit and we're going to use that as the original velocity of my hand right when it makes impact with the board. And so we're going to use that for the original velocity. My hand's going to come to a stop because I can probably break this board, but the table's a different story. So, and I will tell you when to start at the top. I won't say when to stop. I'll be a little busy. But when you hear this loud pop, hopefully it's the board. Stop the stopwatch. But anyway, you're going to get the average velocity. That's going to go in for original velocity. Final velocity is zero for my hand. My hand roughly has a mass of, let's say, half a kilogram. And that board has to break within one thousandth of a second, otherwise it just bends and bounces back up and hits my hand and it hurts really bad. And then you're going to solve this for the force to calculate how much force I exert on the board to break it. So, we're going to do a test run real quick. Ready? Just to practice your times. I'll say start and stop. Ready? Start, stop. Okay, did you time that? Well, you got to get quick, so make sure you get a good start on this, because I'll say start, but again, I won't say stop. One more thing. I'm a great humanitarian, so I am going to blindfold the wood so that it doesn't see what's getting ready to happen to it. Okay. Now, did I just make this easier or harder on myself to break this board by putting this uh, cloth on top of it? You make that decision, okay? Ready, set, almost. Do you know why when people do karate, they scream right before they hit something? It's because it looks good. It looks a whole lot better to go, ah, and then hit something, then it hit something, and then yell, ah. But anyway, I'm not gonna yell, I'm just gonna say start. So you ready? Here we go, start. Okay, so now, time that, Maybe do it a couple of times to get the average time, and then find my average velocity. That will go in for original velocity and find the force. Okay? Let's try one more. On this one, if you try it, notice no spacers. That's kind of cheating. Compare the times and the force. Do I actually swing harder or did I max out the first time? That's a good question. So here we go. Again, I'll say start, but not stop. Ready? Start! Now, time that one. By the way, my hand's fine. Don't try this at home. I've been in martial arts for a long time. My fingers are just fine. I can still cross. I can still snap my fingers that way. But I'm all good. But anyway, figure out the force, and I'll talk to you again with another physics video. Goodbye.